Hello everybody, I'm Adriana and this afternoon with the help of Leonardo we are going to see a screen that presents this error. The customer has told us that after he changed the battery and the screen the device has stayed like this with the image on the screen pixelated. The truth is that the fact the client told us what happened to the device is very important for us. In this way, we rule out any major failure and we don't waste time measuring voltages on the motherboard. We remove all the screws from the middle casing. We remove the frame using a plastic pick. As the client indicates, he was trying to change the screen, so the fault must be in some component or in the FPC connector of the screen. Here I'm going to leave you a trick. You have to pay close attention to the details because they are very important. Here we can see a small spot of solder lead and a small mark probably made it with a tweezer. We get our first conclusion and probably this area has been touched. Normally we have 5 ME filters and 10 MIPI lines that comes directly from the microprocessor. If the fault is in the CPU, we have a complicated job. We can see how the component moves. In the same way, we check the other filters. To avoid possible damages, we protect the battery with two Captain tapes. In this way, we can solder the component without disassembling the motherboard. We also protect the corner of the FPC connector with a little flux. This way the plastic connector will not burn. We use a precision air station. If you have a considerable volume of work, I recommend you to buy this air station because this tool will generate it income because you'll save time on your repairs. In order not to take long with the microsoldering, we apply 370 Celsius degrees and 10% air. In the description, I leave you the links of the tools and spare parts that we use. If you liked the video, don't forget the like. Thank you. We use precision tweezer to position the component well. When the solder lid melts, the component will be placed by itself. The component is soldered. Emi filters are responsible with eliminating the noise or filtering the signal. If you want to measure it well, you have to use an oscilloscope. If you want to make a quick measurement, then you have to put the tester in continuity mode and check the continuity of these lines. If you have any dubs with the filter, you have to replace it and that's it. Let's assemble the screen and see the result. Thank you.